Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is Star Wars The Black Series number 65, Lando Calrissian. Go ahead and check out a picture of him while I read the bio on the back of the box. Smooth and sophisticated, Captain Lando Calrissian stands ready to retire from the life of a smuggler and instead become a full-time gambler, or sportsman as he calls it, shuffling from card game to card game across the galaxy. Spoiler alerts, maybe. You know what happens with Lando. Can you really spoil this movie? It's like spoiling Titanic. You know what happens at the end. Here we have Lando out of the box, and he looks both like Lando and like Donald Glover. It's a welcome change of pace from the Han Solo review. I think he looks great. He looks like he does in the movie. Hasbro looks like they have faithfully recreated everything about him, but in a smaller form that fits in my hand, because Donald Glover won't let me do that otherwise. That's weird. All right. Lando's pretty much made of three colors for the most part. Yellow shirt, black cape, black pants, a little bit of silver thrown in there. I don't really know why I'm bringing up colors. I can't see him anyway. Normally having a bright yellow shirt like this would be a little off-putting, but it's Lando. He wears gaudy with style. Do you see that cloak in Empire Strikes Back? No normal person would wear something like that, but Lando would. Lando would. Taking a quick look at his accessories, he comes with a couple of apparel accessories, namely a cape and a removable scarf. The cape just kind of drapes on his shoulders. It's two-tone, actually. It's black on the outside with a little bit of molding in there to show some folds and uh, some ribbing, I guess, on the collar for his pleasure. Inside the cloak, you've got a different color, maybe some sort of blue. The scarf is a little more pliable than I'd really appreciate. It feels a little on the flimsy side, especially in the thin neck area. And lastly, Lando comes with a gun. It's a long-barreled sort of pistol. It's molded with some detail on it, but it's all in one silver color, which, you know, I guess he probably would keep his blaster immaculate. It fits nicely into his hand. The trigger finger fits squarely on the trigger, and that's nice. On top of fitting nicely into his hand, it also fits in his holster. Now, to get it in there, I have Initially thought I broke my blaster doing this, but the barrel does come right off of the gun And the only reason I can think that it does that is to Safely fit the blaster into the holster that or I conveniently broke my gun in a way that makes the blaster Fit into the holster a little bit more easily either way go me the only other problem I have with the holster in general is that it just has these weird kind of loops that look more like hooks coming off of his pants. I'm not a fan of the way this looks. It's just not doing itself any favors. On top of that, it breaks the cardinal rule that holsters should have. Just like the Han Solo review before it, his holster is glued to his leg, which hinders that mobility in the leg itself, which impairs posing, which is kind of annoying. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. Lando's head moves side to side, forward this far, back this far. He actually has two joints on his neck and head. His arm moves out that far, swings all the way around. He has a single jointed bend at his elbow, but it moves pretty far up. Also a swivel at that elbow. He has a swivel at the wrist as well as a hinge. This wrist hinges this way. He has a super noticeable but good diaphragm joint that swivels all the way around like this. Goes forward this far, back this far, and it looks like he has been cut in half. His leg moves forward this far, back this far. This leg is hindered just like Han Solo by his holster. He has an upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee, ankle hinge, as well as an ankle rocker. With this being Lando's widest stance with both his feet flat on the ground. Lando is surprisingly one of the more limber figures in the collection, maybe second only to Jaina Solo but in all the wrong ways. His head sports that new movement on the, as a ball socket up in this area that gives him sort of a head waggle, gives him a little more snarky look. But Lando specifically, and, and none of the other ones that I've seen do this, he has a ball joint here, but he also has one down here on his neck. That sounds cool, but it's weird because next don't super move like that, I guess. Mine came out of the box with the neck kind of askew. So the Adam's apple is actually sort of over here, which made him look like he had a goiter. I thought for a while that I just had a weird production error on the neck of my Lando, and I was gonna have to return it and find a new one. Thankfully, I don't. That's just how it looks. You just have to straighten it so that the Adam's apple part is under his chin, you know, like a neck looks. Secondly, his diaphragm joint. There's a 
ton of movement here. It goes forward and backwards to a crazy degree. The problem is that it also breaks that separation in his chest and looks like he just has a gaping wound in it. It looks like someone took an ax, it's like here, and he's about to bleed out. It's nice having a great range of movement, but maybe not at the expense of how it looks. And his looks pretty bad. I know normally they try to hide this joint, the diaphragm joint, in like a shirt fold or something. It does even less here than it did on the Han Solo. It's, it's pretty bad. Those are pretty much the major breaking points in the articulation. The rest of it's pretty good. His arm, while only having a single jointed elbow, moves pretty far up. His legs move pretty far, you know, except for the, the lame one. He's mostly okay. He just has a couple of weird little issues that pop up that really do kind of hinder the figure. The sculpt, I feel, is honestly pretty good, with the exception of that diaphragm joint that's not really sculpted to blend in with his torso. The face uses the new face printing technology. He even has, like, that raised eyebrow kind of smirky look that, you know, a suave gambler like Lando Calrissian should have. He has a lot of personality in the face, and he looks just like Donald Glover, so not only is he a Lando toy, he sort of doubles as a childish Gambino toy if you, you know, like that sort of thing. This shirt is sculpted with a lot of great folds in the cloth and making it look natural. The belt is sculpted on, not removable, but looks pretty good. He's actually wearing two belts, one the holster, one a normal belt, because you know, Lando's a two belt kind of guy, apparently. His pants are pretty plain, but you know, they're pants, he's wearing them, which is good. His shoes are pretty plain, but they're shoes, although they are painted in a high gloss to make them look, you know, fashionable, which is nice because Lando would have nice kicks. This figure is mostly hitting store shelves as I post this. I found mine at a Walmart uh, last week, I guess. It was sitting up on the top shelf of the thing. I actually walked down the aisle and saw the pegs were empty and I was bummed. And as I was leaving it, I decided to use the trick I learned from my co-host, Zach, who's like 100 feet tall and he just lives normally up in that area. He always sees the top shelf because that's just all he can see. So I looked up and saw that, you know, there were some boxes that looked suspiciously like Star Wars The Black Series boxes. It's cool that I got these. I've seen Lando a couple times in stores now. It's still new enough to where it might be hard to find him now, but I have a feeling that he won't be super hard to find, but maybe less hard to find than Han Solo because people tend to like Lando and Donald Glover does a good job of looking like Lando. Being that, you know, Donald Glover is legally about as close to being a young Lando as you can get without, you know, cloning Billy D. Williams. So what about my arbitrary final rating? Eh, give him a four out of five. Not perfect by any means, but I still really like him. He stands out and looks really good on my shelf. I know not everyone will feel the same. Some might be put off by his brightly colored shirt. Some might be put off that he's not, you know, Billy D. Williams and they're just a front to any change like this, which I kind of get, but I also don't in a fundamental way. I personally am a little bit apprehensive about the movie, even after the last trailer. I did like it. I'm still a little worried. <laughs> Again, Solo is one of those movies where we're not really gonna find out what happens. We know ultimately kind of what happens with this character. It's about finding out where it came from, which is a story that some people care about. It's also a story that some people don't care about. There's those fun discussions to have, I suppose. I personally, kinda looking forward to finding out more about this rapscallion. He really wasn't a good guy. Han Solo didn't really seem too pleased to go find him. But Lando's not a system. He's a man. I really don't know where I'm going with that. That's just how I'm gonna end the review. So that's it for my Lando Calrissian review. What did you think? Did I miss some things? Did you agree with me? I guess, I don't I don't know. It's a review, you like it, that's my opinion. I, I enjoy it for the most part. But thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far. Let me know in the comments downstairs if you disagree with me or agree with me. I like reading and responding as I get those. There's a couple different ways down in the downstairs area. You can support my channel if you want to. This being one of them, I just got this shirt in the mail Today, it was from Ripped Apparel. You can use my name if you want to and get 10% off a purchase. They change shirts every, you know, they're one of those sites where it's like a new nerd shirt and you can buy it or not. For the most part, every, I don't know, couple weeks they get a good one for me that I have to buy. Most of the time I just skip past them and delete the email as soon as I get it and that's just the truth. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.